Hey guys, <clears throat> we haven't uh, done any 5 through stuff in a while, so let's do um, a series of 5 through even, give 4 stones, take 4 stones, review, it tends to be the 4 things we do. Uh, so we're playing Crazy Stone, it's set at 4Q, and we're the 5Q making us the black stones, which would be no coming. Uh, you're looking at the KGS board. I'm going to play my stones on the crazy stone board and transfer them over. You know me, I like to kick one off just to, just cause. And of course there's options everywhere. I'm going to choose this one just because I'm trying to get used to that, you know, corner. Uh, AlphaGo uses it all the time, or I should say AI. Uh, and I use it all the time too, but I don't know anything about it yet. So I've been learning it for the last however long year. Okay, we're black. Uh, so where to? Uh, either the left or the top, those are the next two big areas. The top's bigger because the three white stones are all pointing to the top and we pretty much only have one black stone pointing to the left. So I'm going to head on up. Uh, I'm either going to play approach or jump in the 3-3. Three, three. And we'll approach because it's early on, no reason to do. They're both fine, I'm sure. And then I'm going to do another AI, Joseki. There's another one I'm just recently trying to get better at. And we make this peep first because it removes all of white sente. Remember why I can get a wall here? Not anymore. So we'll see how that goes. Just respond. I'm not even going to think about, do I want to do something else? Well, if this top stone, you can see that? Yeah. If this top stone was on the fourth line, then I'd be thinking, I have an unfinished position. Let me come on down and finish it. But everything's in order, so just defend. Okay, what's next? White's big area on the left. That's bigger than the bottom. Mostly because the bottom, my F3 stone says, I'm done there. So my other stone says, I'm not done there. So the bottom is half done, half undone. But white's area is just ripe. So how do we deal with that? Not the approach. Because the top, I'm done there. It's a small area. I don't want to play there. So I'll hit 3-3. Three, three. And then only one way to continue. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. I kept imagining this low position in the upper left coordinating with the low position in the upper right for black. And it's like, what a horrible, low, disgusting thing to do. If, but if I don't coordinate them, and I say, no, they have nothing to do with each other. They're completely separate. Oh, well, that means I have the corner in the upper left and the top on the top. And Sente. Okay. That's better. Feeling better. Where to next? Either the left, pretty darn big, or the bottom pretty darn big. And the left is part of the equation too, because it's bigger and bigger as you go along. Uh, <clears throat> my tendency is to play on the left. 
because you know the grass is always greener on the other side oh he's getting so much but ours is just as big so do i so i'm going to play my area instead of his first idea i can grow my area as i diminish his well that's we've heard that a thousand times that's always a good idea the other idea stop white from approaching right a white stone here you can see my cursor i'm hoping threatens my corner and makes an extension well that's a double purposed move if i extend i'm supporting my corner threatening to invade uh so let's go the other way if i play here and he comes up invading is not the easiest thing to do so this seems a little more urgent when he comes up that if white plays here this invasion's all over the place i can flatten i can do whatever but if white comes up here it becomes difficult so i'm going to come this way um you know me i like to pause and say ask questions like how how confident am i that this is the best move zero confidence how confident am i that this is a reasonable move well reasonable as in 80 85 percent minimum yeah how about could it be 90 95 yeah i think so it's clearly in line with good principles but we could find a couple of moves that are in line with good principles. Which one's best? I don't know. Okay. Corner, I don't care about. The bottom and the left are monstrous. The corner, not monstrous. Okay. The two moves I was considering, this one and this one, do I actually get them both? Yeah. That's nice to get the two big moves. Okay, what's next? If white continues, right? White spent a whole move to play where I've got knight's moves and undercuts. So I need to check this out. White, I stop him. White comes up. If I honey, that cut could mean something. Okay, so white, black, white, I come up. White, I come up. White, I fix. Am I impressed with what, what White got? No. Am I impressed with what I got? Yeah, real thickness to the outside. Is If White plays here, is White getting too strong in the corner? No, he's perfectly strong. He's alive. Oh, but I might cut him. That He's alive on both sides. It's not. So I'm not gaining anything that I can see. Is it big? Yeah, for sure. Is it biggest? I can't conceive of it being biggest. Me continuing to grow? Psh, huge. Okay, we continue to grow on this side. Now I'm going to continue to grow on this side. If I... I want to play a move like this. Right now... Uh, my crazy stone screen is bigger than it needs to be, which makes the other one smaller. So I'm going to lessen this and grow this. There we go. Now my Google Meet screen is bigger, which means I can see my cursor on that screen more. I'm assuming yours didn't grow. I don't know. Okay, so I want to play this move, or this type of move. I want to grow this position. And we see that it's uh, bothering White on the left for his territory, not his group. Problem is, it looks uh, soft. I'm not particularly threatening anything. And it's not a particularly big jump. It's like, yeah, solid 75, 80% move. Well, I'm looking for something more. For instance, this move threatens much more. 
tiny step. I don't like it. Black place here. White can peep. Thicken it up in sente. I don't like that. What if I come all the way? What if I play a forcing move? Interesting. So white, black, white. I'm sorry, black, white, black. I'm getting at least this in sente. Then I can jump out. Let's try it. This is a funny little move, right? Cute little move. Sacrificing a stone. Let's see what happens. So I was sad about my original move. And something you learn when you get stronger is if you don't like your move, don't play it. Do it. Find another way. To that, add the proverb, when you can't find your move, play your sente. That'll get you a long way right there. Okay, I'm not going to cut because white's alive in the corner, so I'm not really threatening anything, and that gives him the opportunity to come in. Instead, I'm going to play a simple move, which is now sente, didn't used to be. And now, instead of this move, which I would have gotten originally, I'm now going to play this move. So I got an extra step out of the deal. Oh, but white got the left. Well, I had no interest or plans on invading the left. What I'm doing is, is significantly bigger. If I would have invaded the left, my center would have gone away. I didn't want that. Hopefully that made some sense. Uh, he's saying that his area is as big as mine. I don't think so. <clears throat> so I'm going to start bridging across. How to do that. Um, if we go black-white, I'm still getting the better end of it, but he is getting some points. So I want to do the hard press. If he fights, I, I don't see another choice. It seems to me I need to be aggressive here. The moment you back off and say, okay, I'll, I'll just be really passive here, it's against a strong player, it's really going to give him a great, great chance. So I'm going to keep the gas on here. Okay. He submitted. He got significant. He got less. I'm getting more. That's wonderful. Now, one of these two moves. This one, not cut. I like that. This one's cut, but reaches over more. So let's check it out. I'm trusting you can see my cursor. Okay. Black continues across. White, black, that's fine. White, black, that's fine. White continues to black. So that's all fine. Is this one sente? It kind of feels like sente. I don't know. Look at this one for a minute. If I say no cut, you come up, I come across. This is even more sente. This feels like if white doesn't respond, I'm going to cut, he's in trouble. I don't know. I'm torn here. I, perhaps my main concern is that my perimeter is still really wide. And a single step isn't really helping that. So I'm just going to tighten up. Since I can't do this job, I see no way of bridging my perimeter. Then why are you putting a stone down in order to do that? Doesn't make sense. Instead, I have a weakness. He has a weakness. Why don't I get strong? Hey, I'm doing something. I just, just came up with something that actually had a purpose, and fulfilled the purpose. Okay, that's why I'm playing here. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. It's all beyond me. I like it. He did not test my perimeter. Now I'm back to this kind of move. It sure worked last time. And it looks great for bridging. Same thing. This time, it really started to look like I'm bridging my gap. 
I mean, I think I can, if he starts testing my gap, I think I can fight back. I'm thicker and stronger and closer. So this time I'm going to bridge the gap. And in he comes. That was hard. Okay. How do I feel about I go to all this trouble to build a memorial and he comes in? Well, let's start with my feelings. I hate it. But let's switch to my experience and thoughts. That was a pretty big area. I did it in Gote. He has the right to come in and cause trouble. That's his right. His area, I don't really have the right to come in. So perhaps White did the right thing. And this really is not a game for me. Okay, therefore what? Uh, therefore, I, I, I don't want White to live easily. That's my main thought here. Don't, don't let White live easy. So I'm going to play this move, which is the take away the eyes, be severe move. I'm not going to say, well, I'll make sure I get the corner and let you live inside. No. That center is way bigger in the corner. I'm going to be fierce. Okay. Now, I believe I can ignore this. Let me double check. White comes in, I back off. White comes in, I do my touch. He cuts, I save the important side. He can't kill that stone. I like it. Okay. Going for the kill. Going for the harsh move. If I play third line here, King come under, forming an eye. If I play second line, he plays this way, doesn't get the eye. Still, I like this better. Still, I like this better. Black, white, Hane, cut. I kill the stone. Okay. So I'm being severe here, right? That was pretty much my only choice since I invested so many eggs into this center basket. I'm hoping you remember the joke I told a while back, that co old comic strip, The Wizard of Id. Cracks me up just thinking about it. Okay. Black comes up. I'm sorry, white comes up. A few options. Let's look at them. Now, what I do out of habit, I use this tool all the time. I mean, like, all the time. Black passes. That's my method of saying, where am I weak? So, white plays here. I connect. He cuts. I say Atari, I can't say Atari. White, black, white, I can't say Atari. Yikes. White, black, white. Nasty. I'm going to fix. I'm going to fix strong. Okay. Put it on the crazy stone board. Of course, I'm going to be helping this stone now. Am I going to grow on the third line or am I going to play strong on the second line? I don't want that area. I have no interest in this area. I don't want to grow it. That's a tiny little area. I'm here to kill, so I'm going to play strong. Potentially even here. Super strong. But I already put the stone down. Okay. Is white threatening me, threatening me on the bottom? No. Is threat, white threatening me? on the left well i didn't answer here white 
I'm seeing some stuff here. So I'm going to thicken up this way, which fixes my knight's move at the same time. So I'm fixing multiple things with this move. Did that white move threaten something? White, black, no. White, black, I'm submitting here. I don't like submitting there. And if I do, I still have a knight's move. I'm going to thicken up here. That could be a big mistake. I don't know. Okay, we are now going to stop white from escaping. Some center move. I want white to not do well in this little center area. So this black move comes to mind. I'll just do it. I'd like to come straight up to stop this white move from being sente. Because if I honey, that's sente. So let's check out coming up. Black comes up. White comes up, I honey. White cuts, I fix. I have two black stones here that have some issue. So I need to do a couple reading in my head here. Uh, black, white, and what? Black. Tari, save. Nothing. Tari, save. Not a Tari. Cut, fix. Looks like it works. Now, what is this? This is supposed to be us as 5Q playing crazy spot, crazy stone, 4Q. And we've gotten into a situation where all of a sudden I'm doing reading that the 5Q may not do. But the thought process of, am I in trouble? How do I decide that? Let me apply some simplish reading. Where's his vital point? Where these, these are things, a lot of this is simple. I don't know how to say that right. So I'm cheating by doing a little too much reading, maybe. Okay. But there you go. Oh, that's not where I went. Undo that. Then I fix. Surround. Okay. If I'm cut, I'm dead. So. Fine here, fine here, fine here, fine here. So let's go kill. Uh, this would be a nice move. This also is a nice move. This one's stronger and looks like it's more in the potential heart. Sure, just come on down. Happy to. Yep, fix for sure. But I want to double check something. Black, white. Black, white. Can you get an eye here? There's kind of a feeling that this underneath gap might help him get an eye here. If I pull straight down, it's just a stronger position for me, less he can do. So I'm going to come down. Okay. I have a cut up here. I have a shortage of liberties here. I want to play this strong. This saves the cut, connects me across. Let's just do it. Strength. So what am I doing? I'm strengthening my position as we go. Which is the killing move? Well, this is the bothering move, which helps, strengthens my shape. Killing move says, I don't care if I'm weak. I'm going to kill him. 
he, he can't use my weakness. Well, those are extremely bold statements. Okay. I have a weakness here, it's Hari. I fix, I don't care. I have a cut here. Ooh, the entire black group could get surrounded. Now, if I have sent agons, walk out. But that's getting risky. Okay. So let's see if we need to take that risk. Here we go. <clears throat> Can black get an eye here? No. We have three ways, one, four ways of removing that eye, not an eye. Can black get, can white get an eye here? Uh, white, black, white, yes. Okay. And if white takes that eye, another one sitting here. So we're at a crossroads. Now, if I do deep reading, which I abhor, I might be able to find out that white actually can't get those eyes. But doing a basic shallow reading, it's looking like there's eyes, like there might be two eyes here. That puts me in a frame of mind of taking a risk. So here I go. Absolute killing move. If I'm wrong, he could cut me here and cause problems. Wow. Talk about the worst movie in the history, worst move in the history of Go. He does not want those two stones, white stones. Why is he saving them? It means nothing. I get to come back and fix my uh, weakness here. Now, if I play here and he responds, Atari, save, there's a knight's move here. So if I play here and he Atari's, I save, that doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to play the strong way. Okay. Uh, Ken, let's get back to this eye. White, black, white takes the eye, I remove the eye. How about white, black, white, is that sente? Possibly. So he might be able to turn this into an eye. Here's another eye. So if I, for instance, play here, and he takes his eye in Gote, boom, I take the second one. This black move, or this one, they're the same. This black move is playing in this wide open area where white has some chance. One eye, I don't care. But now he can't get both. I can just back off, right? Just back off. Nice and strong. If I honey now, it's a classic bad shape as it gives an empty triangle, but I don't see it bothering anyone. But still, I, playing strong, so much more fun. Now I can play here with good shape. Okay, I can remove the eye, or I can make sure this isn't an eye. Well, I have a bunch of weaknesses here. I have no weaknesses here. So I'm going to take away this eye, which is, helps, brings me strength. There's a number of ways of doing it. I could play here. Boom, eye's gone. There's no way that's not better. Deep in the heart. Okay. Oh, little tiny potential eye. Let's get rid of it. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to look. Okay. 
Who cuts? White, black. Oh, I'm cut. I kill the cutting stones. Nothing. Atari, save. Atari, save. Not Atari. Atari, save. Atari, save. Not Atari. I kill. So if there's any weakness here, it might come back to bite me. I'm just going to fix that right now. He's doing exactly my readout. Okay. White's dead. There's no cut at F8. He can't get through this gap. He can't get through this gap. He can't get through any gap here, any gap here, any gap. There is nothing. And he doesn't even have one eye yet. So he's beyond dead. And I have so many points, it's ridiculous. And I have no weak groups. So we'll call it quits there. I'm sure a couple more moves he'll resign. But let's let's stop there for the sake of time. Uh, and let's take a look, a brief, you know, review. Okay. Uh, and let's... See if we can keep track of when I left 5Q ability. Now, I'm not used to this just a second. And I have to admit it bothered me. But it's something to learn. AlphaGo says it's good. Yeah, just defend all 5Q. And the 5Q knows that just a second on top. Just, if not, now he does. I mean, it's that's not a hard thing, right? I want to say that again. If a 5Q knows that Joseki, if he doesn't, he knows it now. It's a simple Joseki, not like something you have to memorize. Here, I don't want to play on top because I'm so low and subtle there. And I don't want to play inside because that's dangerous. So I went 3-3. Three, three. Now, let's check this out. Disgusting. Oh my God. I'm literally getting upset in my stomach looking at this position. Black is wasting his time on top, and white is dancing a jig, being so happy. Yeah, that's the picture that I saw back here. And I'm going, oh my God, I, I hate this. I go, wait a minute. I don't have to do that. I can just stop here. And I got sent it. Great. Now, I had assumed I'd be coming in now. This is an old habit I've had for, well, 50 years. And I stop myself and I go, oh, that's where I get in trouble. My area is as big as his. Why should I take a risk? Just make his smaller as I make mine bigger. Done deal. Now, a stronger player is going to play here. Way more forcing. Way more forcing. And then ignore. Or continue or whatever. Now, I haven't, I haven't come back. I haven't learned how to deal with this yet. How, how, is, how weak is this? I, don't, I, I haven't used it much. So I just went the easy way so I wouldn't have to think about it. Uh, that's a wrong direction. So I'm and so I went this way. Really bad move. And I got a great move in. Okay. Now check this out. White gets Sente, gets to flatten me in any way he wishes. Didn't like it. This way, I think he's going to ignore and start growing his and reducing mine. This way really feels like a forcing move, like he has to respond. 
I'm going to Atari and break in, do a ton of stuff. Oh, I picked up a whole move, extra space. We went this way, and that's something to look at. Here I am. I gave White some uncontested area in the center. I ended in Gote without a lot of power. And now White can start stuff. I didn't, I, this is submissive and giving White the opportunities. So I pressed hard. Never really gave White the chance. White's going to live in here in a number of ways. I don't like that. Easy life for white. Wherever white wants to go, that's easy. This might be a little harder to kill. But this one, that's I'm coming underneath and removing your eye space. Not here. He gets this incente. That could cause him to live. That's why I went this way. Mm, if I go for the ladder, right? So, white, black, white. Sente. It's going to Atari and kill me in a moment. That gives him that shape on the bottom, right? I do whatever, and he's back to living well, or possibly. So, my plan, fix. Net works for me, right? Duh, I'm sorry, the ladder and net are both, he can't do it. He can, however, get this in Sente. Not this, that's a false eye, right? If he captures, not an eye, so I don't care. So he can get this far, but I'm underneath him, right? So I thought still going to be hard for him because he still has no base. So that was my plan. It showed a little weakness down there, gave White something to do. I didn't think it was enough. That was my guess. Comes out. That's when this move comes in. I can't Atari this way. Since I'm Atari this way, I have to keep coming. I have to keep coming. Oh, there's some nasty stuff in here. I didn't want to even think about this. So... I fixed. This fix stops any of this from working. If I would fixed some other way, it would leave some Aji. Here, there's stuff he can do. All of a sudden, he has an eye already in Sente. No, thank you. I'm hoping these little, we kind of looked at them on the way through, but they're hard to see since the stones weren't down so that's why i'm taking the time to show some of my thinking in review so you can go oh that's what he meant okay now i've got this anytime if i had played a at b this becomes a weak move he can come back and hurt my knight's move but since i played at a i can do all this okay so uh, I'm thinking, can he do something? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, there's, it's not like, yeah, it just seems that's a lot. And I have so many choices of defense. Uh, but if he combined all that with something like this, it could get tricky. So that's me fixing kind of both sides at the same time. There's that knight's move again, and if I fix, he's getting, like, for instance, this be anything becomes sente. So I'll fix it. Come across. 
not this way. Now he's coming towards a bunch of gaps while he, yeah, no, fix this way. Snub it out. There's a lot of reading here that was too hard for me. See this cut? This really bothers me. Now he's got a bunch of sente moves and he has these cuts coming up. I didn't like all of this. That's why I went uh, this way. I could read it easier. It seemed pretty straightforward. And from here, it's just death, yeah. Okay, guys, hope that was helpful. Catch y'all later. Bye.